now we are going to see with practically not null and the unique constraints so we are going to create one table in that table we will be having one email column and that email can column cannot be blank so that is the one condition we have to satisfy our second requirement is like in our table we have a one we will have one phone number column in this phone number column the duplicate entry shouldn't be allowed so that is the requirement so we have to create one table in that table we will be having a email and the phone number column and email cannot be blank that is the one condition we have to satisfy in the second phone number column the phone number column should be unique it shouldn't contain the duplicate value so let's try to create a table so creating a table very simple right create table i am going to create one table name employee one after that what you have to write open a bracket close a bracket we are going to define the first thing as a id integer we want a one id integer column we want a email column the email it is a where care right so we are defining where care where care 128 where care 128 and we want to define one more column that is a phone number so we will write phone and this also be a where care and we will mention the 28 something so this is how actually we create a table now we have to satisfy condition like this email column cannot be null so we have to use a not null constraint so what you have to write after this email where care right we have to use a not null this phone number should be unique right so for that we have a uh, we have a one unique constraint so what you have to write unique so creating a table is very simple right now you have to use any constraint then what you have to write after email whatever the type you are defining right it should contain the where care type after that you have to mention the constraint also now let's create a table we have created a table employee one now if i will show you select star from employee one if i will do select star from employee one and let me execute this i am able to see we have a id email and the phone now let's try to insert a value so what actually I am trying to insert a value I will write insert into employee 1 and uh, what actually I want values I am putting values 1 email I am mentioning abc at the rate gmail dot com dot com this is the value I am giving and after that phone number I am giving 123 randomly now if I will try to execute this, I am able to do that. If I will execute this, you can see we have a one email and the phone number. Now suppose if anyone is trying to skip the email ID. So suppose let me try to give the same. I am inserting into this table and I want to insert only the ID as well as phone. So if I will define this like i want to insert only id and the phone so let me give the id as a 2 and the uh, phone number let me give phone number as a 234 something 234 now if i'll try to insert this you will see we are getting one error cannot insert the value null into a column email because this email column right what we have defined we have defined not null condition so in this case we cannot skip any the email okay so that is the thing we have to remain so whenever you are defining a not null constraint means this email cannot be a, a blank now let me insert this email also now what i will do i will use a just a, a random email let me define as a def something this is the email let's try to consider this now if I'll try to insert this, I'm able to do that. Now let me show you one more thing. Now what we have defined this phone number should be unique. Now let me try to give the same phone number. So I will just copy. This 234, this phone number already exists, right? Now let me try to insert one more time. Now let me try to insert one more time, 234. In this case, what will happen? will get error unique key constraints means this phone number cannot have a duplicate value it should always be unique so like that actually we define a constraint so defining a constraint is very simple right we have to first create a table while creating a table 
whatever the column and after that type we are passing we have to use the constraint so not null means it cannot be a null unique means it will be having a do it cannot contain a duplicate value so that is the thing i hope you got the idea